This click view enablement module will provide you with the next level of troubleshooting when it comes to reload and distribution task failures. This document will also cover some of the most common issues relating to failed reloads and distributions and how to troubleshoot them. Let's begin with ClickView Publisher Task Review. In the ClickView Management Console, tasks are set up under the Document tab, then the Source Document view. Tasks can be set up to reload and distribute ClickView documents. Let's take a look at test file 01.qvw for example. It is possible to have a separate task for reload and distribution, and it is also possible to have a task that both reloads and distributes the document. Also, if you navigate into the Edit Task window, tasks are set up to trigger on certain schedule or certain events. If we navigate back to the Status tab, then Task View, you will get an overview of the tasks already configured. You can see test file 01.qvw has three different tasks configured, and you will see a status of the task as either running, failed, or waiting. You will see when a task was last executed and see when it is scheduled to run next. Now, if a task has failed, you can easily find out by either looking for a red circle with a white X before the task name, or you can find out by looking for the status column and for a word failed. In this example, we have three tasks listed one passed and two failed. Another way to find out if a task has failed is by alert emails. Navigate to System tab, Setup view, Distribution service, then Alert Email tab. This is a server-wide setting which affects all tasks, so keep in mind you have to configure the Mail Server settings under the Setup tab prior to configuring Alert Emails. Once this feature has been configured for the distribution service, an alert mail will be sent which contains a snippet of the log file for the failed task. Also note, the log file supplied by the alert email may not contain enough information to diagnose the problem, but alerts you of an error or event to investigate deeper. So the first course of action on the event of a task failure is to navigate to Status tab, then Task View. Click Show Task Detail to expand the window for the task that failed. Under the Task Details tab, we'll show you the configuration summary of what the task is configured to do. Please review your intentions and configuration settings for each value. Next, the Task History tab will show you the time, duration, and status of the last execution of the task. Finally is the Log tab. It is possible to view the task log from the Management Console, and sometimes it is possible to diagnose an issue from this log view. However, this log view provides a quick view of the tasklog.txt log file. Sometimes it is useful to look at the log file through the Management Console from the Log tab, but other times it is necessary to go directly to the log text file on the disk. So how can I find the location of the distribution log file? Well, first check under System tab, Setup view, and then General tab, where the Application Data folder is located. Then go to that folder on the disk. By default, the Application Data folder is located in C colon backslash Program Data slash ClickTech slash Distribution Service. Within this folder, the logs are located under slash 1 slash log. The 1 is the node number of the cluster, usually the number is 1. But if there is a cluster of several distribution services, there will be other node numbers, and each distribution service will log in a subdirectory below the node number. Next, within the log folder are folders for each date a distribution activity ran. Then within each date folder, new folders were created containing the timestamp for each distribution activity that ran. This tells us the time the task started. Below those dated folders might be several other useful logs to become familiar with. But we want to investigate why the task failed. Since we know the task failed on the 16th of October, we already entered the folder dated 2012-10-16. Since we know the distribution task was successful, we don't need to review those logs. So we should enter the reload and distribution folders to continue our investigation as to why the reload failed. In this folder contains a log file named tasklog.txt, and sometimes a document log.txt. 
the task log.txt is the first place to start looking. As we open the task log, you should be aware of the allocation of ClickView engines. A ClickView engine is necessary to perform a task such as reload or distribution, and is allocated from a pool of ClickView engines. If the max number of simultaneous ClickView engines configuration settings has already been reached, the task will wait for a while before attempting to allocate the ClickView engine. Now, let's address the case of the task failure. There will be an error in the task log that will hopefully help you determine the cause of the error. One option to quickly find the error is to search for the keyword error within the log, or you can start at the top of the log and scroll down to the first error message. If the task log indicates that there was a problem with the reload of document, then there will not be enough information in the task log about reloads. It will just tell you that the reload failed, but not why. So, in that case, it is necessary to look for the document log which appears in the same directory. We will repeat the same process, either search for the keyword error or scroll down to find the first error message. We will scroll down to the first error message. As you can see, the error clearly states cannot open file c colon backslash program data slash click tech slash database slash film database dot xls. The system cannot find the path specified. Now remember, you will only see the document log.txt in the folder if logging has been switched on in the ClickView document. So for the reload issues, the first step is to make sure that the document logging is enabled by ticking the generate log file in the QVW file. This is done by opening the QVW in desktop. Go to settings, document properties, and general tab. The document log will show the execution of the load script and will be useful when determining why the reload failed. So, in conclusion, hopefully the task log will give you an indication where the problem lies, whether it is in the reload or in the distribution. Two common issues that will show up in the task log file are file related problems and ClickView engine related problems. Another troubleshooting thought. Problems with opening a particular file will show up as an exception or error saying that the file could not be opened. If this happens, then look for a reason why the file could not be opened. File permissions could cause this, or a program holding the file open could cause it to be locked. It may be that another task which has been scheduled to run at the same time is locking the file, or it may be a backup software or antivirus. An appropriate action is to reschedule the task to a time when other task or software is not running. If this does not help, it is usually best to completely disable backup and antivirus software in order to rule them out as a cause. Now, if the task log shows a problem allocating a ClickView engine, then there may be too many tasks scheduled in too short of a time span, and it will be necessary to spread out the tasks. So, in conclusion, hopefully the task log will give you an indication where the problem lies, whether it is in the reload or in the distribution. Two common issues that will show up in the task log file are file related problems and ClickView engine related problems. Another troubleshooting thought, problems with opening a particular file will show up as an exception or error saying that the file could not be opened. If this happens, then look for a reason why the file could not be opened. File permissions could cause this, or a program holding the file open could cause it to be locked. It may be that another task which has been scheduled to run at the same time is locking the file, or it may be a backup software or antivirus. An appropriate action is to reschedule the task to a time when other task or software is not running. If this does not help, it is usually best to completely disable backup and antivirus software in order to rule them out as a cause. Now, if the task log shows a problem allocating a ClickView engine, then there may be too many tasks scheduled in too short of a time span, and it will be necessary to spread out the tasks. As a reminder, 
When you run into reload or distribution task failures, a great way to troubleshoot these issues are to become familiar with the tasks and how they're structured and configured, along with the associated log files and location of the log files. A few additional tools and resources you can use is the Click View Help menu. Also, you can view the release notes, reference manuals, article knowledge base, and Click Community.